Wow. Um, I'm not sure what happened because I was filming and then I wasn't filming, and so I don't I don't know. Wow. Okay. Um, we'll just start all over again then because I don't know what happened there. That's craziness. Craziness. Okay. Well, um, happy Tuesday, YouTube. It's been a hot minute. I know it, and I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. I think the last Tuesday drive-in we did was I don't know, it was like the week before Thanksgiving, I think, um, when I had the the two babies um, with me. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I got uh, I got real sick basically, and I just I wasn't able to film. I'm fine now. There's, there's no worries. Uh, but I just, I wasn't able to film. I wanted to do all kinds of things. I wanted to do Vlogmas and all that, and God just had other plans for me. So I'm sorry um, in in advance, or actually not in advance. It's kind of after uh, the, the whole thing that I wasn't able to do, um, you know, any filming over the Christmas holidays really at all, um, other than my Santa video. I think that was the only thing um, that I did, which was a pretty good video. Uh, but I'm heading to the office right now. Just got to doing the... Um, Second episode of season four of Man Up America. Woo! If you guys aren't watching the show, you really should because you're missing all kinds of really fun stuff. I'll put the links below as I always do um, so that you guys have that and you can join in on all the craziness and fun uh, that we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 10 because it's just a blast. It totally is an absolute blast. Uh, let's see. So heading to the office uh, right now for a fun day of cleaning up all the Christmas gear and doing lots of signups for the co-op. We are running our annual 50% off the one-time sign-up fee. So that has a tendency to make me very busy, which is great because that's what we want. We want everybody in the club saving lots of money and getting on some dentistry done. Bye. Okay, so update since uh, since the last Tuesday drive-in. Like I said, not a whole lot. Um, Guinevere and Lancelot are actually scheduled to uh, get fixed Thursday. So they should be up for adoption uh, probably by the end of the month, I would say. So they'll be at the PetSmart down in Chattanooga uh, if you want to adopt two sweet, beautiful babies. Uh, they'll be ready at the PetSmart in Chattanooga probably at the end of the month uh, via Dixie Day Spay because that's who I rescue for and they're awesome, awesome people. So a couple of things that we have going on with them. As always, I always leave uh, Dixie Day and McCracken Kitty Cat Farm. Uh, I always leave their links below. I'm going to apologize right now because I'm getting ready to sneeze and you all haven't had the pleasure. So it's coming. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure that was that was bad, and I apologize. Um, it's an experience for sure, especially if you're in the cabin of my car, because you would be deaf at this point uh, if that were to have happened. Okay, so back to Dixie Day Spay. They are running a couple of things going on right now, so this is kind of my community post. Um, if you are low income and you are having a hard time affording getting your animals fixed and vaccinated, PetSmart Charities uh, has given the ability for Dixie Day to neuter your kitties and pitties for free. So if you're having a problem, you guys need to call up Dixie Day Spay, Cleveland, Tennessee, Bradley County, see if you qualify, because if you qualify, they will spay and neuter your kitties and pitties at absolutely no cost. So that leaves no excuses. While I am the saver of itty bitty kitties, nothing would make me happier than to never be needed. And a good way for that to happen is for you all to spay and neuter your animals. Y'all know how I feel about it, so I won't get on the soapbox. So give them a call, because they're doing that right now, and I'd like to thank PetSmart Charities uh, for helping out in that because it's really important um, in, in the work that I do that people spay and neuter their animals. The second thing that Dixie has going on is they are running a fundraiser because again they are very low cost spay, neuter, and vaccines um, for animals and in order for them to do that it costs money. So they are not funded by the local taxpayers. I've said this over and over and over and over again. They get no local tax money 
for them to be able to do this. So, you know, they literally rely on volunteers and they rely on the generosity of people also giving money um, so that we can physically pay for the things that we need to do. So they are having their annual fund like fundraiser. Uh, it is called Doggone Desserts. It's going to be on February the 10th at the local Elks Lodge in Cleveland, Tennessee. You can look it up. Just go to Dixie Day Spades page because I put the link below so you can find it. Uh, and you'll see their event there. It is a silent auction, they have a cakewalk, there's all kinds of stuff there. So to get in, if you want unlimited desserts with punch or coffee, it'll cost you $10 a person. If you would like to have unlimited desserts with wine, mm, it'll be good wine, I promise. They pair it up with all the stuff. It'll be $15 a person. Kids under 12 get in for $5, and kids under five get in for free. All the money goes 100% to Dixie Day Spain. So all the auctions that you do, the cakewalks that you do, the money that you pay to get in there, 100% of that is going to go to Dixie Day. Okay? And we need that. We really, 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 really need that so that they can continue to do the things that they do. While I basically, for the most part, foot the bill to take care of my kittens, meaning that I buy all of their supplies, as a general rule, I pay for 100% pretty much of their vet bills. Dixie vaccinates them, fixes them, and then gets them home. So that's really important. It takes both of us doing what it is that we, you know, that, that we have to do. So um, go look that up if you've got nothing else better to do. And even if you do change your plans, because it's a good thing to basically go and do, um, go you know, go to it. You'll get some, you know, some good art, you get some good food, and, and you'll help out, you know, all the kitties and the puppies and stuff, because that's what we need to do. My part of it, for me, this is where I'm going to beg for subscribers. It's been a minute since we've talked about it. I'm up to 132. All you people out there that have thousands of subscribers, you can laugh if you want to, but I love my whole 100, 132 people, and I appreciate them. That's how we get there. I still need more subscribers. I need at least a thousand for me to get monetized to help me defray the cost of that really expensive cat and formula and all the vet bills. I think I'm up to, ooh, two grand in vet bills from last year. Yeah, gotta get that paid up because kitten season is right around the corner. We've already had kittens born in December. Remember I told you guys back in October that I was worried because we had such a warm October, so late in October, uh, that this was a possibility. We had babies born the 1st of December. Thank God they had moms, so they don't need me. But the point is we still had babies born in December, which is bad. Um, I expect this season to kick off early. Last year we started the first week of February. Uh, I think we're probably going to end up with that again. We really haven't had a lot of cold. It's getting warm here in Tennessee. We've been in the 60s the last few days. That stays up there long enough, those cats will start ovulating again and we'll end up with babies. Just saying. So, it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. I had, for all that we're keeping count, I had myself neonates. So, kittens under five weeks with no mother. I had 39 kittens last year. 39. Just little old me. 39. That's more than doubled than what I had in 2017. So if things keep going the way they're going, I'm going to end up having more than that this season. It's an expensive deal. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I want to continue to help, but this is where I'm going to ask for your help. I need your subscriptions to help get me monetized. Until that point comes along, I need your donations. I have an Amazon wish list. I put it in the links below so that anybody can basically get there. While I have a lot of things on that wish list, that would be awesome. And I would love to have... Um, Formula is the big thing. I, I am always in desperate need of Breeders Edge Formula. That allows me to keep those kittens alive and keep them out of the vet as much as I possibly can. While other formulas can work, 
and I'll use them if I have to. I'm, I'm going to be a formula snob right now and tell you that I end up having to take my kids to the vet a whole lot more when I use over-the-counter formulas. I don't understand why. I don't get what the deal is with Breeders' Edge, but I'm telling you, Breeders' Edge is really about the only formula that I can use because it keeps my kittens healthy and I don't have any tummy troubles. Tummy troubles at that age can kill a, quit, a kitten super fast. So I need Breeders' Edge formula. Like, I am in desperate need. I need to start getting stocked up now so that I have the stuff available when I get the kitten call that I'm ready to go and I have everything that I need. All the other things, technically, I mean, I can do on my own because it's not that big of a deal. I don't need them very often, but formula, I go through a lot. I need Breeder's Edge formula so that I can take these kittens, okay? I need it, guys. I need it. So anybody that is willing to help out, please, it doesn't matter what size the container is, it all helps. Please go down and donate and send some formula my way. I would be much appreciative. The kittens will be appreciative, I promise. So again, no kittens, yay for me. Let's hope that we get past February uh, and we, we don't have any kittens until then, we'll see. Uh, everybody at the house is doing good. The prince is fine. The puppies are doing great. Uh, kitties are good. I still have to do my unboxing of the um, GPS that I got for the animals when Eddie, the Count de Monte kitty, went missing. Um, and he is still missing. Uh, we got GPS for all the animals. So I still need to do the unboxing for that so you guys can see it and give my review on it. Um, I won't go into any more detail than that just because I don't want to, you know, that's another video and I need to, I need to do more videos basically. Uh, I'm going to try this year if we can. Um, my hope would be is I do a video at least once a week for the drive-in for the, for the people that like the vlogs um, that I do. Um, but I'd like to start doing more videos a little more consistently. It's easier when I have kitten care because kitten care is like everybody wants to see the kitties. Everybody may not want to see me. So um, I'm trying to figure out some other things that we can basically do where I can get some more videos out a little more consistently. So that's my goal for 2019 uh, is maybe get two or three videos out a week consistently every week. Um, would love to know what you guys want to see. You know, what do you, what do you guys want to do? Do you, I've done cooking videos in the past. I think I've done a makeup video in the past. Um, don't know if anybody's interested in that. Um, we do paintings. I do a lot of acrylic paintings that I donate to the local rescue so that they can auction them off and get money. Um, we can video some of those maybe. Do you guys want to see more, some more reviews? Um, if you do, what do you want to see the reviews on? You know, what do you want me to talk about? I'm constantly saying I want to do good content. I want to make videos on things that you guys want to hear. So give me some suggestions. I want to see the comments. You know, I like I like hearing from you guys on what it is that we're basically doing. I think the highest commented video I have is my swimmer syndrome. I've said that before. Um, I get a lot of comments on that when people asking questions or ask, you know telling me what they need to hear or what they need to see. Um, and I'll oblige you. So I answer all of my comments. I don't care who you are. If it's a happy comment, a, a not happy comment, whatever, I'll answer you. So just tell me what it is that you guys want to hear. I want to give you good content. Sorry for that. Um, um, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I do have some new cameras. The Prince was very gracious uh, in his Christmas giving this year. So I did get a couple of cameras. He got me a GoPro. I'm still figuring out what to do with that. So we'll, you know, I'm still shooting on my phone right now, but um, I definitely want to use the GoPro. It's waterproof. So we might do some underwater shooting this year. I don't know. I purchased the, the, uh, the Prince a drone. Um, but a good drone, because remember, I told you guys I got him a drone last year for Father's Day. You know, I got him a pretty small model because, one, I didn't know if he was going to like it or if he'd even do it. Um, you know, so I didn't want to spend out a whole lot of money. Well, he did like it, other than the model wasn't all that great, so he had a lot of trouble with it. So I upgraded and bought him um, a middle-of-the-road drone. It's a much nicer drone, so I'm hoping to get some aerial shots of stuff this spring because you know when the stuff when the weather gets warm things will get a lot busier because we'll have stuff to do outside and, and things of that nature and I think you guys liked the videos on the tile that we did though it almost killed us um, so I'd like to do some more of, of those type things 
as as well. But you know, let me know what you guys want to see so that I can make some good videos. I think I've kind of run out. I don't uh, I don't think there was anything else that I needed to update you guys on about. Nope, I think that's probably about it. So I may just go ahead and cut the video here. If I have anything else interesting, then I can just go ahead and piece, you know, piece some things in. Uh, we'll, we'll see kind of how the day goes. So until then, you guys know the rules. Stay safe, stay clean, and have a perfect day. Bye.